The star of this episode, Blue Jeans. Blue Jeans are a must, and no wardrobe is complete without them. We're going to discuss how to care for your jeans and take a look at 12 outfit ideas that you can compile with these. Blue jeans are a casual item that allows you to be relaxed, comfortable, and stylish all at the same time. Jeans are a year-round item and come in various weights and colors. This durable piece will last year after year and can be dressed up or dressed down, depending on their wash and features. Ripped jeans or jeans with lots of distressing or pockets are completely casual and take away from the elegance and sophistication of an outfit. With regard to the wash, keep in mind that dark colors are always more formal than lighter colors. So the lighter the wash, the more casual the jeans. The darker the wash, the more dressy the jeans. While a pair of light wash jeans can be dressed up with a button down shirt and a sports jacket, its very nature will always be casual. On the other hand, while a pair of dark wash jeans can be dressed down with a t-shirt, its very nature will always be more dressy than those light wash jeans. For these reasons, it's best to have all three washes. Light wash, medium wash, dark wash. If you only want to buy one pair of jeans, or you're early on in building your wardrobe, the best way to go is to buy a well-fitting dark pair of jeans with no distressing, no ripping, and no extra pockets. A plain dark pair will allow you to use them in more situations. For my personal wardrobe, I chose to go with a dark wash and a medium wash, both of which will be used to compile the outfits for this video. Now, how should jeans fit? Jeans should not be baggy. There should be no bunching on top of your shoes. This will ruin the proportions of your silhouette. So no boot cut jeans unless you're wearing boots on the job site. And trust me, I know all about that life. I used to wear steel toes while I hauled freight and drove forklifts. So save those bulky items for the appropriate situation. On the other side of that coin, while showing a little bit of ankle is okay, your jeans should not look like high waters, sitting too far above your ankles. And if you're a bigger guy or a taller guy, you should not be showing ankles at all. This will also throw off the proportions of your silhouette. Also, avoid jeans that are too tight. For a lot of guys, either a straight leg, a tapered leg, or an athletic cut will do the trick. But this is depending on your body type. If you're a bigger guy who needs a relaxed fit, then go for it. If you're a thinner guy who needs to go with a skinny fit, then go for it. Our goal is to choose items that balance our overall aesthetic. So whatever you decide, Go with it and rock it with confidence. I would also avoid low rise jeans as the cut may interfere with tucking in your shirt. You'll know if you're wearing low rise jeans because they will sit way below your navel and around your hips. For most guys, appropriate fitting mid rise jeans will be the way to go. Tip, to keep your jeans looking their best, wash them only if you have to, like if they smell bad or if there's a stain on them. After wearing them, spray them with a garment freshener and hang them up and let them air out. I like to turn them inside out and steam them, then hang them up. When it's time to wash them, be sure to turn them inside out and wash them by hand with a mild detergent. Or turn them inside out and wash them on the gentle cycle with a mild detergent. Hang them up and let them air dry. Now, real quick, if you're getting value from this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. Now let's check out some outfits. Starting first with medium wash jeans. These jeans are paired with a black tee and white sneakers. For this outfit, let's go ahead and rock that smart watch. The strap color is green. I've also matched my phone case and my iPad case with the same color. And for the fragrance, Capsi Drat Eau de Toilette by L'Occitane Home. This is a fresh aquatic citrus that's perfect for the man on the go in warm weather. For this next outfit, I've chosen a white Henley with black leather double monk straps, a black Citizen Eco Drive watch, and our fragrance is Prada Lone. This is a compliment getter. This is a fresh powdery iris fragrance that's great for spring, summer, and fall. Now, moving on to our third outfit, we're going to keep the white Henley, the black double monk straps, the Black Citizen Eco Drive watch, and the Prada Lone. And we're going to add a light brown cotton linen blend waistcoat. This is one of my favorite combinations. For our fourth outfit, we're going with a navy merino wool sweater. 
We're going to keep the Black Citizen Eco Drive watch and the Pride alone. However, our footwear will be a pair of gray hybrid dress shoes. This particular shoe is made of calf leather and has a penny loafer upper and a cushion rubber sole. Now, I'm aware that these are not everyone's favorite type of shoe, and I get it. It's a loafer, but it's also a sneaker. You may think, why not choose one or the other? Dare to be different. Our fifth outfit, we're going with a casual white button-down shirt with the sleeves rolled up, keeping those gray hybrid dress shoes and the Citizen Eco Drive. In our sixth outfit, you may have guessed it, we're going to wear that white button-down underneath the navy merino wool sweater, keeping our footwear, watch, and the fragrance the same. Now, moving on to those dark jeans. Starting off, we're going to take the same black tee from earlier and rock it with these dark wash jeans. Because this is such a casual outfit, let's go ahead and rock that smart watch with the green strap. Our footwear will be dark brown, calf leather, minimal sneakers. Yep, I had to bust out those minimal sneakers. Our fragrance will be Versace for home. This is a fresh fragrance with citrus and florals that's perfect for warm weather. For our second outfit, with the dark wash jeans, we'll keep that black tee, brown minimal sneakers, but we'll swap out the smart watch and the fragrance for the Tissot Le Lac with a brown leather strap and Cidrat Boise by Mancera. Cidrat Boise is a woody, fruity citrus. It's powdery, it's light enough for warm weather, but heavy enough for cooler weather. We'll also add a navy suit jacket. You can add a sports jacket, a blazer, or a suit jacket, whatever you prefer. This is the jacket that came with one of my suits. Some people will advise against breaking up a suit, but in my opinion, do whatever you want. You've spent the money, I don't mind breaking up a suit. In fact, I have a strategy when breaking up a suit. I make sure that I wear each piece from that suit within the same week so that they get the same number of wearings. And I make sure that I take the entire suit to the cleaners at the same time. I do this to ensure that each piece of the suit wears at the same pace. Because anytime you wear something, it's gonna age a little bit because it's exposed to the sun and to lotions and to our skin. But that's what I do. If you don't want to break up a suit, that's perfectly fine. I'm confident that whatever you wear is going to look great. In case you're wondering, what's the difference between a suit jacket, a sports jacket, and a blazer? A suit jacket is a jacket that has a matching pair of trousers made of the same material. A sports jacket or sports coat is a standalone item that was worn by participants in sporting events. That's where it gets its name. Sports jackets can be made of various types of fabrics and patterns, such as hopsack, tweed, flannel, linen, bird's eye, plaid, or herringbone, to name a few. Now, a blazer is also a standalone item, but it's usually going to be one solid color. It will also have metal buttons or some type of contrasting buttons. Here, I'm using my suit jacket to demonstrate how it can be worn with jeans. This material is wool, silk, and linen. It has a distinct texture, which is great when wearing with jeans. For our third outfit, we're going to pair those dark wash jeans with a black turtleneck, dark brown leather loafers, and the Tissot watch. And our fragrance is still Citrat Boise by Mancera. For our fourth outfit, let's keep that exact outfit and fragrance, and let's add a green and white waistcoat. For our fifth outfit, we're going to keep the same loafers, watch, and fragrance, but we're going to wear a blue button-down dress shirt. This is an easy business casual outfit to wear to the office. And for our sixth outfit with those dark wash jeans, we're going to bring back that navy suit jacket to elevate this business casual look just a bit. Well, there you have it. 12 outfits that any guy can pull off. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and consider sharing this video. And if you'd like to learn more about footwear, be sure to check out this next video. Take care.